Hello, and welcome to a new edition of Cosmic Cooking. And as you can tell, Christmas edition. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful Christmas and all is well today. Um, today, ironically enough, we're sitting here listening to Kenny and Angie from Abundant Acres Homestead. And today, I am entering the Christmas dinner collaboration. Um, what we are doing is a side dish, and it's how we do our jalapeno poppers. Hope you enjoy, and let's get right to it. Okay, so here we are, still listening. Kenny and Angie. Captain John is up there from Willie Grow. So I have most of these done up and I just want to show you this process here. This here is a giant jalapeno. And what you want to do is just cut the very top off of your jalapenos. Like so. Then we will slice them in half. Grab yourself a spoon, and we're going to bore out the centers. Simply taking the spoon and boring out the center like so. And another one. And there we go simple as that. And also, what we have here is a can of lightly sweetened mangoes and 12 ounces of cream cheese. We're going to throw the mangoes right in with the cream cheese and we're going to come over here and mix this all together. So there you see, we have our cream cheese and mangoes all mixed up. The next step we're going to do is grab a cake decorating bag or whatever you have at your disposal to be able to fill these jalapenos like I'm going to show you. some now to show you what I'm going to do and then we'll kick this into cosmic warp speed afterwards. So you want to take your frosting bag with your filling and you're going to go ahead and line that jalapeno with the cream cheese and mango filling. We're going to go ahead kick it into cosmic warp speed. So our next step is we're going to go ahead and spray our pan with a little bit of olive oil or Crisco or you know whatever you want to do. We're going to grab our bacon over here. What you want to do is start in the back because some of them you're going to lose an end. Let me show you. So for instance, this one right here, we lost our end. So what you want to do is start on the end and then gradually wrap the rest of this in bacon like so. And that's done. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. So again, you want to start in the back. Yeah, of course it's going to be difficult, right? So you start in the back, and then you start wrapping around. So if you run into the problem that you're running out of bacon, 
just stretch it out a little bit and make it work like so just like that we're gonna go ahead kick it in the cosmic warp speed and get this done Okay, now that we've slowed down from cosmic warp speed, we are wrapping our last jalapeno popper. And since it's not Christmas yet, what we're gonna do is throw this in the refrigerator for now. And tomorrow, we're gonna fire up our oven at 425 and cook these for approximately 15 minutes or until done. And then after that, we'll get you guys a taste test on these. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, and we'll see you soon. Merry Christmas, everyone. And as you see, after 15 minutes in a 425 degree oven, our jalapeno poppers are ready to be devoured. So we're gonna let them cool off a bit, set you guys up, and get you a taste test. Now that they've cooled off a little bit, here we go, our carb friendly jalapeno poppers. Mmm. Yep. Delicious. Sweet. Spicy. Bacon -y. Perfect. So, Kenny and Angie, hope you enjoyed this Christmas appetizer um, today here Christmas dressed up again um, Merry Christmas everybody and um, Happy New Year hope you enjoyed the recipe peace love and happiness have a wonderful day